what does the future hold? It's really uncertain, a lot of uncertainty right now, but where are things going and how do we get there? Joined here by Craig Eskowitz to talk a little about that and a little about what he's cooking for Tegra 118. Craig, welcome. Hey, Matt. So glad to be here, man. Thanks. Awesome. It's so good to finally get to interview you. So, so Craig, the future can seem like an uncertain place for financial professionals, especially with so much in flux right now. But what has you excited for the future? I'm, uh, I run a tech consulting company, so everything we do is tech related. So I'm always looking for what's, what's coming down the pike technology wise. And one of the biggest drivers of change in our industry is going to be artificial intelligence. Everything about it is going to be driving change and driving efficiencies and improvements in how advisors and other wealth management firms work with their clients. Everything's about data these days, as we've seen most of the deals we've seen between different fintech firms have been data driven. It's all about understanding more about your clients, understanding more of their needs, both not just beyond their investments into other areas and being able to crunch that data and get it back to advisors in ways that they can actually act on. I know you'll be talking about the kind of the future of wealth management at uh, Tegra 118 Elements. What do advisors need to know about kind of the future of managed accounts? So the Elements Conference is a great, one of my favorite conferences, and it's such a wide range of topics. It's not just what we're talking about. We're just doing one little panel. But one of the things I want to uh, warn advisors and I warn a lot of our clients about is robo-advisors and fintech firms becoming a bigger threat. They're moving slowly up the value chain, up the food chain, taking more and more clients. They're still not there yet, but they're getting there. They're making, uh, robo-advisors are specifically making inroads with wealthy millennials and experienced investors. And those are two client segments that were not expected to be attracted to the robo or digital space. And those are target, core target segments for traditional advisory firms. While they haven't taken a large percentage yet, they're taking more and more, and that should be worrying to people uh, in the industry and looking for ways to fight back against that. Craig, why, especially now, you know, in this new normal, is this event, Tiger 118 Elements, this conversation that looks into the future, something that wealth managers and asset management professionals can't afford to miss? I've always loved this conference, as I said, and they, they bring a wide range of thought leaders into the space to present information and provide thoughts of, like with our conference or with our panel. Uh, I love our panel. It's a good mix. It's a half consultants, half analysts, and all we do all day is spend our time looking at the industry and talking to people, right? So our day jobs are talking to wealth management firms and other fintech firms and finding out what's going on. So you're really gonna get the latest uh, updates. You're really gonna get some really good thought provoking information about what's going on. Uh, we have uh, Will Trout from, from Sound. We have Tom O'Shea from Cerulli. We have Nalika Nanayakara from Ernst & Young, and of course myself. So there's gonna be a lot of good, um, information that people pay a lot of money for, right, <laughs> to get this information from us. So we're giving to you for free. So I advise people to show up and hear what we have to say. This is a conversation as advisors you can't afford to miss. So what I'd recommend, register today for Tegra 118 Elements. Craig, so great talking to you today. You too, Matt. Cheers, man. For investment news, I'm Matt Ackerman.